And we're back. Tower access granted. Let's go to the tower. Level up! Go put in a oh, you just left them down. Oh, 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 they, they can they can teleport. Put in put in your skill point first. You got a new skill point. You can buy a new sticky sticky grenade. I wonder if you actually like max out everything if you just do all the quests. Probably. Seems like you might be able to. Get ready. Get ready. Ready, set, wholesome. Shepherd. The commander oh. Shepherd. <laughs> Shepherd. I should use my one second to tell you what's going on. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry she missed. <laughs> so you remember their story? Like she, he was obsessive and yes, I remember. She like tried to get her out of there. Yep. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. Yeah. This ends here. On the contrary, now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that Jesus. worth? All right, take her. <laughs> but I want out alive. Deal. <laughs> Bye. No deal. That's a derpy looking fucking face. The oh my god. Derpy fucking face, you. Jesus. Are you all right? Fuck. It's okay, Ori. You're safe. Hey, boss. Uh, I'm fine. That's a placeholder just... animation. Are you sure about that? Her Looks great. Are, Keep it in. Her teeth are. We will. Pink. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Maybe, did you like? Minute, okay? Oh, is it like bloody mouth? Like you got punched in the face or something? Commander Shepard. Jesus. Fancy meeting you here. Maybe she just had like a like, like an orange flavored lollipop. All right. no, maybe. Yeah. I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> just had to follow the lies. Mm -hmm. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Ling. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. By the way, I've been chewing on this uh, my life. Really orange bubble gum the whole time. <laughs> Want some? Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was Shepard. my fight. It's been a long time yeah, coming. But... So yeah, if you apparently you like you don't do the stuff in Mass Effect Two, right? And you don't yes. give her information all three times you meet her. Jesus, that but you don't give it on the Citadel all the times you see her. She'll I'm she'll die in this encounter. Shepherd. Oh, I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No, I understand. Yeah, if you don't warn her about Kai Lang, she doesn't survive. Yeah. For both of us, we can stop running. I like yes, how like Jacob and Rand were supposed to be equals in the second What's game, like the male and female main, main yep. love interest. Is, but but we've got basic facilities. Rand gets so much more of a storyline in the third game. And departures, Cerberus included. Yeah, this no is the 360 version. Yes. To start. Grab anything you can no off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. We're playing the original I copy because I didn't want to buy what? <laughs> Legendary Edition. We had the original copy from back in the day. Yep. Before Kai Ling took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive nice. man. Tracer. Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but <sighs> nobody's perfect. Ah, uh -huh, I get it. Exactly what we need. Uh. <laughs> Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communications, Grambler, disabled. Listen to me. 
I mean, everyone's gone now. Like, this sounds this really shitty for a bird. Cortez, we need to pick up at the tower. Roger that. Jesus, that's awful. I've had enough of this place. Should blow it up. Yep. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Blow it up with the Normandy guns. She's not gonna do it though. I'm too Paragon. <laughs> I'm too Paragon. Well, maybe it could be the case. Maybe it could be the case, Naomi. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Good. Because I am an art hard. Yes. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. No, fuck you, Admiral. Many unknowns. But I was wrong. Mm. The Severus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that... Slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary yep. did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. So it's now do you use the information? Or right. the so it was unethically gained. But you're also do about to fucking die. <laughs> nah, I mean just yes. like, oh yeah, this is unfortunate, but it's useful, so we're just gonna use it and feel bad about Good. it. It's fine. Well then that means that Cerberus was right. To take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. Now the way they went about Cerberus it though. Focus on the Reapers. It's one of those ethical exactly. questions. Like, do you use, do you use the Nazis' medical? Because the Americans did. Yeah. And it advanced medical technology, but yeah. like, okay. So, um, that was the second last mission. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no, it wasn't second last mission. But rather, the next mission is the point of no return. The next story, the story mission. Story mission. The next story mission. Admiral Hackett will show up and be like, "Listen, if if you're, this is the end of the game, so if you keep going." You're locked in and you can't go back anywhere else. The entire galaxy gets locked off. Wait, so can I do this next mission? The next one? No. You can talk to everyone. Allie's taking what happened in Horizon Oh. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. Allie's in the lounge, apparently. Okay. But yeah, so the, the next story mission, that's when the this game... The current locked. one. The next one. This is what I'm... Okay. The one you just finished, no. The one that you're going to start after you talk to everyone on the ship, yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Joker, you're, you're fucking... You asked for news about the human colony. Oh. Tip tree. Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tip tree landing on Salarian colonies. Oh. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, uh, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since. Uh... She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Stop. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. You too. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Because I'm in a better mood now. Okay, Data, let's talk about it. Have fun. <laughs> what is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not we did just easily see it. repulsed. But I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death. Oh yeah. It is logical so if you take Edie on the survival. mission, she'll they have this conversation with what, what you saw down there. Selfish. So that's why they, they changed it but to make it not like this. All were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard. Oh. I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. If you're having this conversation, it's not like your code's already I'm modified. Different. Yeah. When I think of Jeff, 
Well, I think I think when she refers to her code, she's actually kind of more referring to like a human instinct. Maybe you know, like what you would automatically do. Uh, your head, Edie, it's clipping into your neck. Sounds like you found a little humanity. It's fine. She's a robot. I can do that. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. You know, she was already a part of it. <laughs> How's it going? I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Shit. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. <laughs> Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. That's the wrong way, okay. <laughs> I can go forward into the space, right? No. Yes. Wanna go down to Deanna Allers' room again? Oh, new messages. See what, see what you got. Probably one from Miranda. Oh no, a new article. From from uh, Deanna Allers' thing, maybe. Articles, articles, articles. <laughs> We're all dead anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Didn't I say one of the last times that we've been playing this game? Uh, it was a few. It was a few sessions back now, before our break. I said that Deanna Allers' little cubby room looks kind of like Dave's room. It's like, it's like small and like the bed just stuffed in there. I vaguely recall this. I don't remember this at all, to be honest with you. Oh really? Oh, we'll go in there and see. I don't really want to. You gotta talk to everyone again, Naomi. Oh. <laughs> that was deserved. Roll your head at this game, it rolls it right back. Ow. Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> now we're not beating it tonight. We still have the Citadel DLC to do, so at least, at least two more sessions. Hey, Tally. She's drinking. Wait, how do you drink? Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How <laughs> are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Yeah. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency <laughs> induction <laughs> port. <laughs> it's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. Yeah. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader. Joking. Space cheerleader. With her you mean? perfect jeans and that attitude and and still. She got it done. She stopped her father. Yeah. Cheers! I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. I can't handle drunk Sometimes Kelly. Sometimes <laughs> that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. We should, uh, she never gave call Garrus, bring him in never here, have an actual party. To please him. Garrus and Liara will have the old days party. Yeah. Orgy on the ship. I wouldn't say uh, orgy. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a vorcha. <laughs> Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father. I spent yeah, so she had, like, my daddy life issues trying to live up too, to eh? him. Yeah. Then making up for his mistakes... Doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? When they're dead. Yeah, pretty much. I actually had that conversation with a coworker once. Well, this is more what are you doing? 
There's more. I had a conversation. I have a stay here for a bit. I want to talk. But, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just not going to say my story. No, go ahead. Say nope. It. The answer to that nope. one's at the bottom of that glass. Say nope. it. Say it. I might need to help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. Okay, now wait. Give me the controller. Dip. Tell me your story. What were you going to say? Here, I'll be the bartender. Tell me the story. I can't see the bartender. I'm bartending. Yeah. Okay. Tell me the story now. I had that conversation with a coworker once, and she was just like, "Listen, like, I, mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, tell this to you because, you, like, you, you understand me." And I was like, "Yeah." Yep. And she was just like, "I have never felt so free than when my parents died." And I was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "Yeah," because like. I always felt that I had to like always like act a certain way around them and like be a certain way towards my like like adult kids. Yeah. You know, just because they were alive and if I was like this like if I was just like no, like if I ever told my kids to like fuck off, you know, like cuz they were being dicks, like I I felt like I couldn't do that because my <laughs> parents were, you know, still alive and they would have like freaked out on me. Yep. You know. And as soon as they died, I felt like such like a relief like from that, after I realized I could do that, you know, she was all sad that they died, you know. Yeah. But like, yeah. there's also, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what. So that's why you're just like, no, nah, fuck uh, Naomi, parents. Listen, listen. The fuck it. Yeah, you, you, you have a mic. You don't need to be that loud. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you're like in Mass. Okay, if Naomi was in Mass Effect, she'd be like on the comm, <laughs> right beside you. <laughs> Shepard, <laughs> come over here. I would, I would, 100%. Yeah. Give me the controller back. No, nope, someone actually want to talk about something else. Fine. So, yeah, if we were actually going to, like, okay, let's say we were going to have a Mass Effect party. Who would we actually want to invite? Everyone. Like, I would even invite the dead everyone. body of Ashley. The dead body of Ashley? <laughs> but See, only here's the, the dead thing. Body. I have a feeling that we'd invite Jack, you'd get, like, a few drinks in you, and then Jack would, like, just fucking you come on. You said this last night. I said stream. it last night, and I still stand by it. <laughs> Jack would come on to you and just start making out with you, and you'd just be like the helpless wallflower enjoying it. Yes, I would. That would be you. Yes. You'd be with Jack all night, and she'd be like grinding on you in okay. the corner of the party. All right. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Yeah. I have no complaints. Jack is attractive, which he's not but being terrifying. But see, you could, you could also bring... Also more attractive with hair. You could bring in like like the main cast, right? Like Liara and Garrus. It'd be a fun time. Like yeah. a chill little party. Mm -hmm. um, you could... Let's see. Who else? I don't think I'd, I'd invite Jacob or Miranda. You know? I don't think I'd invite them to the party. I would invite Miranda. I probably wouldn't invite Jacob, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. I want Morden to show up. Mm. If Ashley is still alive here, she could hook up with James. I wouldn't invite James to the party. Ashley, the racist. You just want her corpse over, not her? Yeah, just the corpse. <laughs> how, how about, how about Caden? Uh, I'd probably invite Caden too. Yeah, yeah. He's a little wiener though, but okay, yeah, yeah fine, 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 yeah. fine. You invite Caden. Uh, Rex, I'd invite Rex. Yeah. Actually, here's the thing. Okay. Can we you, invite Rex hold on. and Grunt? Yeah, you have to like invite Rex and Grunt, but then give them like their own section of the party somewhere else, so that, so that they can like fight each other and not destroy the entire house. Yes. Because you know I mean? <laughs> there's always like that one guy who goes to a party to get into a fight. And it's kind of like, eh. See, I've never been to like an actual party except like one. And I regretted going. So. I've been to a few and I regretted all of them. Yeah. I also saw Dave's house get trashed. Oh. Dave's parents' house. And then he got like the shit kicked out of him by his dad. Fun time. I, I, dude, it was a lot of damage. Yeah. I don't fucking blame him. Jesus Christ. Don't host. When you're like a teenager living at home, don't fucking host parties. Yeah, for those teenagers who may or may not be watching, don't do, do it. Do fucking not. No. Don't do it. Always go to someone else's place. Don't host at your <laughs> own. No matter how nice your place is, no matter how much you want to, don't host. You have to look at the <laughs> scene where you find Ashley drunk on the floor. Okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, See, so you could invite like like Samara or Kasumi. I'll invite all of them. And I feel like they would just like kind of sit in the corner and like... No, no, Kasumi would actually probably be fun. Does she like party I, it up, you think? Yeah, I, th I think Kasumi would be fun. She'd be like like laid back, but also yeah. kind of fun at the party. But Samara would just be like... Be 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 like yeah, but Samara so. would be like in the corner being like fucking light is right. And I'd be like, fuck no, off, No, 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 I don't think so. I think she'd like sit in the corner and like be a little bit, be like the sultry milf of the party. She like sips on like a glass of wine. And if like things got too out of hand, she'd like break it up. 
That'd be her. Yeah, she'd, she, break she up by, she'd break it up by punching someone in the face, she, she, though. She'd have, like, like, a classy party, I think. That's, that's what Samara <laughs> would do. Um, here's the problem. Like, if you invite someone like, like Thane or Zaid, they would be, like... No. They, they'd get drunk, and then... Okay, they would get drunk, and they start telling, like, war stories. No, Zaid would get drunk and tell war stories and then cry and then and and then no and then get in a fist fight with like the next closest person. Yeah. Like someone he'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. He would just start the fight. No, yeah. I feel I feel like um Thane would like tell the war stories and like he would bring the party down but not mean to, but like everyone would just be like super sad. Zaid Actually, would no, get in the you fight. Know what? Okay. Thane would Th just be sad. Thane has that that perfect memory, remember? He like he like goes into a space yeah. and he goes Vroom. Yeah. So he would like remember everything from the party. Yeah. So like you see him the next day, he'd be like Shepard, and like his eyes would like roll into the back of his head. And then he'd be like, S the smell of puke on the floor. Shepard lying on the ground, pants around his ankles, dicks being drawn on his face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, all right, man. So he would swap war stories. Yeah, Javak would do the same thing. Yeah. Javak, yeah. Trick. Okay, you know what? If you I had a feeling that if you invite Jack or Ari, yeah, she's still she's still cheering this this whole thing. She loves this shit. Okay, if you <laughs> if you invite Jack and Jack and Arya, they would like bring drugs to the party. Yes, I think, and then we'd just be like, guys, it's not really that kind of party. You know, it's like we're having like a like a, like we're a calm. getting drugs anyway. Yeah, and they're just like, come on, we're, we're gonna get this started. Let's have some fun. And then they'd like go into the washroom and like do a bunch of drugs. And then it would get like way fucking out of hand. They would invite over like other friends that you don't really know. But they they would be the ones that would invite like half the town. Yeah. Or, or half or half of um uh, the citadel. Yeah. And then we wouldn't fucking know anyone. And then the party would get out of hand, and then it would turn to Dave's house. Yep, they'd start <laughs> trashing the house. They'd be like, they'd be like, like on their on their cell phones, like scrolling, trying to figure out where they're going next for the rest. Yeah, of the okay, night. yeah. So those, like, but if Samara was there, she would find someone that she was hunting. She just so happens to have the citadel, and then she would like start killing start like killing all people? the people of the party yeah. because be like, I gotta get to this person, and this person's like human shield. Uh. <laughs> Okay, also, why uh, are we talking about this? Because I wanted to pad out the rest of the time to get to half an hour. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, man. I still have people here, to talk to. Yeah, well, here you go ahead. <laughs> here you go, go ahead. Death? No, no, it's just Jack would bring a Vorcha for like, like Vorcha fights. 100%. Okay. She would bring two and make them oh, fight fair, each other the fair. whole time. Okay, hold on, hold on. So what I was actually really thinking is like, there actually are like people who you just tell them, we're having like a little get together, a little party at my place. They're like, great. And they just bring over cocaine. And it's like, we're here to like have drinks and like relax. Cocaine's maybe, not a maybe, hard drug, maybe, Dev. You have to understand. <laughs> <laughs> there, okay, that happened here. Here? Yeah. In this this in house before you moved in. What? Okay, not cocaine. So. Okay, hold on. So okay. the elusive man really believes he can control reapers. Yep. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. Okay. Talk to him again. A lot of Turians went to sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. Yeah, who gets the elusive man's skull? I guess Garrus does. Fine, Garrus, you can fucking so, shit. Um, at one point, Alan's... Okay, the plan was, it was like uh, near Christmas, okay? And Alan was here, and Dave was here, and then Alan's girlfriend, and then... That guy just walks around and serves something. And then, like, there's, there's like, um... Yeah, Alan's girlfriend, Meg, and then some other girl I don't know. She was the one that insulted me for not owning a suit and for saying that if a woman says you have to have a suit, you have to have one. That was that chick, okay? They were here, and they were, like, they were like pre-partying to go out to the bar that night. And so th they Say got... Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside Jesus. their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. At least That's there's rough. that. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. Mm -hmm. I'm glad she made it. Thanks for coming by. Okay, just wait a second. Don't move. Okay. Actually, wait. Is, is there anything in, in that? There's usually like a, like a power sometimes. Is there an upgrade this time? No. No. Okay. So just wait here. So I can actually finish the story real quick. Okay. okay. So they pre-party here. They go out to the bar. They go to a second bar. 
they get split up at some point. They go to some house party, all right? And then, like, I'm just here by myself. And I think Dave makes it back and goes to bed. Okay. This was years and years and years ago. Okay? And then, like, I don't know where Alan ended up, but his girlfriend and the other girl shows up show up here at, like, 2 a.m. And they're like, we're going to keep going, dude! And I'm just like, no. <laughs> Dave's asleep. I'm going to go to fucking sleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> And then I just like fucking just close the door. This doesn't involve cocaine, Dev. No, but they, there was drug use at the, the other place that they were going to. Mm-hmm. They didn't do any here. Mm-hmm. But like they did some there. They then some that's th- not a good story. <laughs> Fine, fuck you. <laughs> Greetings, Commander. Goodbye, Commander. Dev, that was a terrible story. You, you were just like, oh man, this happened here and told the story that had nothing to do with what just happened. <laughs> no, no, what, what happened was they want, they, they were like, go, they were party hopping. They were going place to place, you know, bar to par to par to bar to bar. Bar to par, party. To par, 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 par. And they wanted to bring it back here at like 2 a.m. And I was like, no. <laughs> okay, well, yes, of course, because that's you. <laughs> just fuck me, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I can tell about the purge. I'll tell you about the purge story. Why not? <laughs> Ow, why? Because okay, fuck let's, let's you, that's here. why. Hey, Jack. I heard about your talk with Liara. You oh, are so angry, but you really care about us. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. <laughs> you are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me too. This conversation is over. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. Mm -hmm. And more. You and the Turian are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. (laughs) Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? I just realized the shepherd that you made looks like Dave's mom when she was younger. Yes. Yes. What about you? Like identical. No, I don't fucking believe you. I get the feeling there's something. I don't believe you. I need picture proof of this. I don't believe you. Uh Not gonna lie, I think you're mildly insulting Dave's mom. (laughs) Because I don't think my shepherd's very good looking. Soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean, each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? I mean, no. Yes. Reopening old wounds, especially yes. big ones, isn't going to help. Perhaps you are right. There were others. Soldiers who served under me, like your crew. What happened to them? They are dead. Where I left them. We have a saying. Let all ghosts rest. Then there is some wisdom in this cycle. If you can live by it. I think he would have said that to your choice. I think so. Okay, so I want to see if they're still getting up to <laughs> Down in the... Okay. You know what been really funny? Oh, I, I don't think they're going to do this, but like if they get progressively like more and more naked... That's like, when no you way. get not, They wouldn't. Yeah, they're not yeah, even down here. But wouldn't that be really funny? Like every single time? Mm-hmm. Like the guy has his shirt off. And then the girl, and then the girl's like, her pants are like, you know, like semi removed. Hey, Whoop. Commander. <laughs> You're not gonna Our say. Our grid is in the green. 
good. Commander. A murder. Murder. Okay, where else do you gotta go? Is this where Tally was? Alliance yeah. Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes. You see that? Like, look at her little room back Sanctuary. there. Sanctuary. Advertised as a safe haven on the <laughs> um, That's actually bigger than Dave's room. Jesus. No, maybe. No. Actually, that's about the same size, yeah. Dave's room is like the smallest the room in the house. Yeah. I'm very surprised he didn't demand the bigger room when Al moved out. I think he was just too lazy to move his stuff into it. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's fair, because yeah. I also would probably do that, but I'm also just surprised he's just like, I, I'm getting it, you're going to help me move it? Fuck you. <laughs> You know, I wonder, like, I wonder. I have to wonder. One of the perks of, like, serving aboard a spaceship would be that you have, like, a window room where you can see the stars. That'd be nice. Yeah, have you noticed that there's, like, no windows in the, uh... Oh, well, there was one for, no, for no, 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 Diana no. Alice. In, in, in the crew, crew quarters? No, there's not. Well, even in a Star Trek, only like some of them have windows, you know? I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. Yeah. But I guess that's exactly what Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. <laughs> Wait, wait, okay. This fucking I'm gonna guy. fucking ask this every time we get a sorry, like, heavy heaviness in the game. Yeah. Um, so, everyone just sees the Asari-ish how they want to see them, question mark? No. No. Everyone just finds them attractive for pheromonal reasons. They, they all they always look the same. Okay. Yeah. Is everything okay, Shepard? It's fine. It's fine, Cortez. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. Um, what were we talking about before? Oh, oh yeah, right. Windows in, okay, yeah. I know in Star Trek, like sometimes the uh, like, like the, the the bunks don't have like the, the star windows. Yeah. You know? So like yeah, I think you have, you have to like work your way up to get like a, a nice star window. In well, because all show. the officers had like single person rooms, and then everyone else had to yeah. yeah had to share like be roommates. And I'm like, well, that's shitty, and I wouldn't serve in Starfleet for a while because yeah. of that. Okay. So, if you were serving on a starship, what captain would you want to be under? <laughs> Kirk, Kirk, Kirk or Picard? Um, I'm gonna say Picard because only because um I think he got less people killed. <laughs> I think. Why not? Uh, why not Zap Brannigan? Fuck Zap Brannigan. <laughs> Fuck Zap Brannigan. Fucking Kiff should have been made captain. Fuck Zap Brannigan. Okay, here. T I guess we'll go back to the Citadel maybe. Like I don't know. I don't know where where the next mission comes in. Well, you said I can't do the next mission. I know, but you haven't even triggered it yet. I thought I did. No, fuck. Okay. Yes, I just The elusive have to go man's find... headquarters have been located, and the Alliance is prepared to attack to recover the Prothean VI that holds the key to the catalyst. Once the attack is launched, the Alliance will be fully committed to the final fight against the Reapers. Assault the base when ready. So, where is it on the map? It is zoom out and see. The Horsehead Nebula, assault the elusive man's base. When you go there, the game locks in and you cannot go anywhere else. You can't go to any other place in the map. You can't go back to the Citadel. You can't go to like any, you're done. Okay. So. So. So, we are, we are approaching the end of the game. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Um. Happy and sad. Yeah. Happy because this game is so fucking buggy and there's so many things bad about it, but sad that the Mass Effect story is ending. Mm -hmm. So. So, oh, hold on. You can still do the N7 communication hub. But I did this. Land on Onterom and prevent. No, you didn't do it. Okay. You, didn't, you didn't find Onterom. Want me to look it up? Onterom. Here. I might as well do it right now while we have like a little, a little, a little chat at the end of the show because it's only going to be like a, a, like a mini fight, right? Well. Knows. Wait, I don't think that's what it is. Wait, is, is this it? The communication hub? I think so. Oh yeah, no, Cisco would be a pretty good captain to serve under too. Oh, <laughs> I should bang, 
Janeway. Janeway. No, no, not Janeway. No. Yeah. Wait, let's see what's here. Let's see who's in there. Kirk, Picard, Cisco, Janeway, and Archer. How about Saru? Uh, or Michael? <laughs> Michael, yes. Saru, I don't know. You fucking. Racist. I think at the. Who, who are you taking? You're probably you're fighting Cerberus troops, so. Mass Effect Three ends with the with the Citadel DLC. Don't try to convince me otherwise. You got Corey because the ending's so bad. <laughs> so yeah, at this point, there's I don't know how many more side missions there are like this, but at this point, what's left? What's left at this point is the Citadel DLC and the final the, f the finale of the game. So next time we come back to the stream to this to this playthrough, we will do the Citadel DLC. Okay. Now, I don't know about you guys. You don't have to look it up. I already found it. What are you already did, yeah. yeah. I don't know about you guys, but it almost feels like the Citadel DLC is non-canon. And we're not going to spoil it for Naomi, but, but you'll know when you see why. Okay? It almost feels like the Citadel DLC is not, is not canon. It's like the developers saying goodbye to the characters because it's the last time we'll, you'll see them. It's the developers saying, we're sorry for fucking the entire series up. We know that you loved it. Um, they they fucked up Mass Effect 2 and they massively Your fucked up Mass Effect 3. Taken one of our secret communication facilities. All campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies. What do we know? We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off site. A civilian? Sub battlefly yes. mate. We're, uh, we're nearing the end Ms. of our Sato. stream. <laughs> What's happening down there? I'm staying hidden, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. She gone die. Not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is Oof, critical. Go to bed. Go to bed, dude. We'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. Mm -hmm. See that you do. All right, we're gonna go click some heads. You ready to click heads, Dev? Gonna get fucked. Oh! Whenever I see him, I'm just gonna do that now. No! <laughs> it's okay, it's the end of the game. No! You're gonna just... Uh, on you. <laughs> on you. So, yeah. <laughs> There's the helmet. So, I don't know... What are we looking at? I missed. That was terrible. I don't know how you guys in the chat feel about it, but to me, it feels like... It feels like... Oh, my God! Are you okay? I had too much of my... We'll keep them from <laughs> wow. It feels like the Citadel DLC is non-canon. Yeah! And it basically serves as, like, a fanfic for everyone to say goodbye to their favorite characters. And also, it's considered one of the best parts of the entire series. So, I wonder what that says. I wonder what that says about your game. If one of the be if one of the most beloved, one of the most beloved parts of your game is um, non-canon, or, or like basically feels like it. I can really see the Borderlands 2 comparisons here. Yeah. Like, limited amount of powers that you kind of hotkey. Um, I can't fucking hotkey worth shit, so. Very similar, um, like, layout and maps. And also, the, the biotic powers and the siren powers are, like, fucking identical. So, yeah, there, there's definitely... This was the era of this sort of thing, basically. The Mass Effect 3 happy ending mod is canon, as far as I'm concerned. Really? Just upload the next set of coordinates. She's fucked. Yes, Commander. She's fucked, dude. I'll just snipe you from this close. <laughs> yeah, man, so go. Okay. He, he just retreated.
exploding heads are so satisfying. Yeah, dude. What is this, a fucking SCP article? I would love... What? You would just... Just do it! No, it's okay, Shogun. Actually, DM it to me, because I'm, I'm kind of curious what the difference is. They just send me it in DMs. Sato, oh! In. Hi, Garrus! Sato, Hi! Probably scared they'll find her if she breaks radio silence. We need the final coordinate. You guys are just standing there. Grace, what? listen to me. Can't talk. We are. Right outside. I know you're scared. This is more than you signed up for, but I Liara. won't let you down. Hey, hey Liara, are you a fucking mannequin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time, just hurry, please. Commander, I think I can make a run and get her. Do it. <laughs> just push the R out. Out of here! This is my cover! Squad engage! Um. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, he will, though. Heads just like watermelon themselves. Boom! So I, I guess what we'll do is next time we play this, we will go do the the uh, Citadel DLC. I've heard that might take one or two sessions because it's anywhere from three to eight hours. What I read online. Um, like eight hours is a pretty long time for a DLC, but it's apparently like the biggest one. And then once we're done, we'll have one more session to beat the game. And then we'll be out of here. So two to three more sessions. And we will be uh, we'll basically be done this game. Feels pretty good. Oh, it's the one of the uh, Avengers. Why are you stealth like that? There's a lot of enemies up there and my stealth's not gonna last long enough. You can do it. I believe in you. I just realized the sealed Twizzlers package will last an eternity. Are they? Do they just like last forever? Oh, the barriers came back. You know, I only wanted to go till uh, till 30 minutes. But you're you're gonna make this into a full hour. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Something's going on up there. There he goes! One shot to the butt will do it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Derpy yeah. ass rolls. Yep, you're good. How? <laughs> also, how is this guy missing? Okay, whatever. 
Yeah. You guys deserve each other. <laughs> yep. Uh, don't mind me. You're getting shot, you're getting shot. Yeah. There's a guy behind you. Yeah, yeah, I know. My, my thingies aren't working. Okay, well, I guess Garrison Lee are. I can just suck my deck. What's not working? My, oh. my arrows. You can take them out yourself, can't you? Yeah. I'm kind of running out of guns. Or bullets. Are you, you out of gun. your sniper ammo? Well, that was quick. Good job, Lieutenant. Wow, okay. Hooray, I did it! You did it! Yeah! Jimmy win the poll. You're gonna get mommied by a mass murderer. I don't wanna. God. She's gonna make you suckle at her boobs. You're held there no favor? Nope. She'll just be like, here's all the mass murderer milk, Naomi. You know what? Drink no, up. she doesn't have fucking milk in her boobs, she has coffee. Coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Janeway, man, Janeway's appearance is in, in like the the kid show, Star Trek Prodigy. Oh god, yep. No small task to keep it that way. You did it. Yay! We even kept the shadow alive. She needs to be transferred to a nearby alliance Fucking station. somehow. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. Okay, we did the things. Now we're gonna go to the Citadel and not do anything. Yay! Go! Go! Go, go, go! Actually, we can just stop here. It's fine. Yes, I, yeah, I'm just gonna go <laughs> just, to the map. Just, just go back to the map. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Okay. Ah! Ah! Stop! I'm just gonna pinch you. Ow! Pinch us, pinch us, pinch us, pinch us. Stop. <laughs> I will make sure it's saved before... Just make sure it's saved, Miss Naomi. ba ba doo boop so save the game right now done saved so we did it we got uh, bring up that cool map music please yeah next time we play we'll be playing the mass effect 3 citadel dlc I'm so excited, and I can kind of hide it. Dun, 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 dun. I thought you had like a braid at the, in your hair at the start of the show. Where did it go? I did. Took it out. Okay. All right. Didn't even notice. Okay. Good night, everyone. Thanks for being here. You're so observant. Bye, guys.